How's it going, fam? It's Erica with Not Your Average GDC. We have Nicole Dodge here in the Hi. background. <laughs> um, working on the campers again tonight, and I figured I would do a quick video on blade geometry. I think that's a fun topic. We haven't talked about that in a while. But first, what are we sipping? What are we flipping? I'm drinking the same thing as last night. These peach cobbler sours are insanely good. Uh, Nicole Dodge, I'll, can I do your sip and flip for you? Yeah, go ahead. Because you're not here. Uh, Nicole's drinking a Daddy-O. <laughs> a fruited milkshake IPA. It's not as good as mine, but it's okay. It kind of tastes like a creamsicle, like an orange creamsicle. Um, I'm flipping right now the Deca. What knife you have? What's your I have the little native today. Ooh! You've been I'm using that a lot, right? Struggling with that wallpaper there. <laughs> yes. Little native. Um, no, I haven't. I mean, I've used it a lot in the past, but I just put this in the pocket today. No, I mean, weren't you using that to cut the wallpaper? Today? Yeah, yeah. So, got my tape measure, my speed square, roll of wallpaper, and uh, using the little native to cut it off. Yes. And then she's trying to put it in the cabinets, but it's yeah. being a bitch. Well, this is the only one being a bitch just because it's an awkward angle, but otherwise, um, it's looking much better. Yes. Okay. So tonight, we're talking about geometry cuts. That is a topic that is super hot right now, especially with Sean from Triple B Handmade. He uh, teamed up with Spyderco to basically make 15B or whatever for the Manix 2. It'll be out soon. Um, lots of content from like him and Super Steel Steve about geometry cuts. Quiet! <laughs> Be quiet back there! God damn it. Um, yeah, and I just wanted to talk, like, kind of talk about that because geometry does cut, but I also want to make a point that, like, a knife is a knife, and with a lot of tasks, it, like, geometry is fantastic, and if you want something slicey, then you, yes, you want a thin geometry. But if you're kind of just looking for a general EDC knife, I feel like the obsession with thin and slicey is just a little overboard at times. So I have a lineup of knives here. I'll bring each one into frame and we're just gonna cut this, the backing of the wallpaper, right? And I just wanna show you how at one micron, they're all strapped at one micron, they're all moving through the material efficiently, okay? No matter if they're as thin as this Deca or as thick as an Emerson Mini A100, they move through the material. And kind of my point here is just gonna be that like, for the general person, the, the average person looking for an EDC knife, um, the geometry cuts movement might be a hair overhyped just because um, you can get a lot of robust multi-tool features with like an Emerson Mini A100, for example, and it still cuts very well. So we'll start with the Deca. Um, some of these have been used tonight, so they might drag a little bit, but hopefully we'll get to the point. Uh, but they all were stropped at one micron on a strop from All Things Knives. So Fletch, thanks again for that. That was super helpful for this video for consistency. So we're just gonna move through this, okay? Okay, so Deca moves through very well. Thank you, Deca. What are you doing? My Hello? <laughs> my daddy -o. All right, let's take another thin and slicey one. Uh, the Benchmade Bug Out that is going up against the Deca currently, okay? Slices through very well. Fantastic. Great job, Deca. I mean, Bug Out. Jesus, I can't even keep up with these. Let's do something a little thicker for right now. Let's do a Benchmade Mini Grip and M4. Definitely thicker than those last two, right? This is like not a geometry cuts knife. Okay, so no no problem at all. And like I said, I've been using these all night, so like some of them I have to kind of, you know, work with here, but you're seeing that they're all slicing very well. Let's do um, the sheep's foot mini grip. S30V, still pretty thick, but great utility blade shape. This is one of my favorites. Okay, very easy, even with that super thick 
edge and blade stock. Let's do my old reliable Emerson Mini A100. This thing is thicker than your mama. I mean, that is thick. One of my favorite knives of all time. We're in frame, okay. So see how this is slicing through with literally no issue, even though it's extremely thick and in theory this should not cut. I mean, some people literally say that like Emerson's don't even cut things. It's kind of funny. Um, Emerson's are like some of my favorite knives, but people will literally say that they don't cut things, uh, which is really funny to me, but so, come on. Like it, they definitely do, right? So even with that super thick blade, we can still cut. Let's do the Hogue Mini RSK that we've been testing. And guys, this is not sciency at all. I'm kind of just trying to prove a point here uh, that we think a little too much about our knives sometimes. So that goes through with ease, of course. That's a little more of a thin, slicey blade. Also way more room in this dimension to thin out. That's a really nice knife right there. I'm super stoked to give you guys the review on that at the end of October. And lastly, we'll do a, a classic, a pair of three from Spyderco in one of the best steels ever, CPM Rex 45. This one should really sail through. Yeah. Okay, so my point here is that when recommending knives to people, I, I think that sometimes people get a little carried away with, like, recommending, you know, $300 super thin and slicey knives when maybe that person might want a little more, like, robustness behind the edge and just in general. Um, they might not need something super thin and slicey, and we just tend to jump to the first, like, trendy knife, the, the thinnest, the sliciest. And in reality, sometimes people just need knives for different things and, you know, they're not whittling hairs at their desk at work. And, you know, Emerson's, if you're looking for something a little beefier that can handle tasks other than cutting, um, the Emerson is really a fantastic choice. I, I seriously love Emerson's. I think they're fantastic. As you can see, stropped to the same micron as everything else. It definitely can sail through material just like any other knife, even though it's twice or maybe even three times as thick as some of those other ones. So I just wanted to put that out there. Um, people have said that Emerson's cannot cut straight because they're chisel ground. People have said that they don't slice at all because the steel is soft, because they're too thick, because blah, blah, blah. It's kind of just ridiculous, but I, so I just wanted to kind of show that for you guys. Um, also, people have said that they're, they're like really gritty and not smooth. Um, I feel like that's decently smooth, right? So just a little debunking for tonight, guys. Go use your shit. I will see you not on the next video, and we love you all. Nicole, can you say goodbye? Get your head out of there for a second. Right. Bye, say guys. Goodbye. Have a good night. <laughs> Bye.